Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room and today we are going to make a quilt with fake flying geese. I walked into Sewing and Vacuum Authority yesterday and I saw the most beautiful quilt and my friend Pam was kind enough to allow me to copy it. She found a pattern, it's called the Lazy Goose Pattern, and I will link to the pattern here. It's by Running D Quilts, and I guess I didn't take a picture of her quilt. I thought I had, otherwise I would insert it, you know, but I didn't, so it's just, it is, it's so pretty. I just don't even know how to describe it. It's very bold and I think that's one of the things that makes it just so pretty. So I told her that I was going to copy it. She said, okay, so here we go. You need 10 fat quarters. They don't have to be fat quarters. I am actually using yardage. You need large enough pieces of material to make 16 and 7 eighths inch blocks. You don't have to make them that big. And as a matter of fact, she made hers 17 inches. I'm going to make mine 14 and 7 eighths. Don't ask me why. One of the great things about this quilt is it uses half square triangles. And I'm going to show you a new way to cut half square triangles out of a square. Last week, we cut all the way around the outside. This week, we are going to sew down the center and then cut. Let me show you how, but first, let me show you the fabrics. Several weeks back, I broke out my Tula Pink Linework Fat Quarter Bundle and I made a plaid quilt. Well, I still had my Tula Pink Linework One Yard Bundle, and that was one of the things that came to my mind when I saw this quilt. I thought, how gorgeous would it be with these huge blocks to display her linework quilt? So what I decided to do is I picked five of the prints that had the black and the white and hints of color. And then I picked five coordinating solids. And they're not solid solid, they're different patterns, like this one kind of look, looks like a swirl. And so what I'm going to do is make my flying geese, they're in, in groups of two, so I'm going to have a line work flying goose, goose, and a solid coordinating color goose. So I picked this tulip pink. All of the prints that I picked are from tulip pink's line work. I picked the skunks. The only thing is these are directional. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but you know there's only one way to find out, right? I picked the pandas. I picked the lemurs. And of course, the zebras, because who doesn't love zebras? My other five fabrics, I'm hoping will pull out some of the color of my line work line. This is a marbled pink and it is called Marbella by Benertex. Pretty cool. This is the same line, but it is the purple. Then I've got this blue and this is Solid-ish by Kimberly Einmo Designs for Timeless Treasures. 
I've got, this is kind of an ombre of an orange and a yellow. Ah, and a pink. Ah, I didn't even realize that. And it is Horizon Ombres by Chris, Christina Camelli from Maywood Studio. Sunset, take in each moment of color. And last but not least, I have a green, it's a lime green. And ouch, it is Shadow Play by Maywood Studio. So there you go. So those are my prints. Now you can pick, you need 10 prints or 10, it can be 10 different colors, 10 different fat quarters, 10 different whatever. And then one background fabric that runs throughout. And this is going to be my background fabric. And I don't know if you can really see, it's got a splatter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 14 and 7 8 inch square out of all my material and then I am going to show you how to do a half square triangle. So now I have put all of my squares, right sides together, and I am going to kind of line them up. I don't, I cannot cut a straight line, I swear to you. I could try and it will never, ever, ever happen. So I've given up, but I'm going to line it up as close to perfect as possible. I have this. Taylor's chalk, Taylor's click pencil. And you get, it comes with different colors of lead. So like this is pink. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to lay this out and I am going to put a line down the center from point to point and just one line. Let's see. Hey, I can see it. Let me make it just a little darker. That's pretty cool. And this is on the wrong side of the fabric. So, it shouldn't interfere with anything besides the fact that this is your cut line now. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew a quarter inch on each side of this line that you've marked. Let me zoom in. So there you can see that line. All right, quarter inch on either side of the pink line. So, I'm going to do this. Is this what I want to do? Yep. So I'm going to line the pink line against the edge of my foot, which is normally against the edge of my fabric when I am sew sewing a quarter inch. And that should be good. You make sure everything's, yeah, see I've got some fabric that's kind of drifted. So let me pull this fabric this way. I'm gonna be, try not to touch the chalk because I have a feeling the chalk can easily be wiped off. And what I'll do to keep my fabric kind of together is I'll just put a pin on either side of that line towards the center and that should work. Okay. 
And here we go. And now I will just flip it, put the pink line on the edge of the foot on the other side, and here we go. Now what I need to do is I need to take these two apart. So here I have actually two half square triangles, but I need to cut them apart. Now when I was working with the half square triangles on my last project, I didn't have this nifty line down the middle and I probably wasn't doing myself any favors. Please ignore the dog barking. So I'm going to put my ruler along that pink line, slice, and here I have two half square triangles. I really do. I swear I do. Now, we have to be really, really careful. Come here, high maintenance. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I have to hold the dog so that she'll let me speak. With these two half square triangles, we have to be uber careful because we could easily stretch them out of alignment. So I will very, very carefully press these without pulling or tugging on the fabric. So I've got my half square triangle. First I'll set my seam. Just pressing, not stretching. And then this is a very big block. I'm going to carefully press this open. Not going to pull on the fabric at all so that I don't mess up my square. And there we go. As with all half square triangle blocks, you have these little dog ears and we want to remove those. You don't have to, it just makes the block cleaner. I, I left them in one of my rows on my rainbow quilt and it just, when you get a bunch of fabric going together like that, you'll wish that you had trim the dog ears. Not as much as that. So I am going to mark the rest of these blocks and then I'm going to sew them. The beauty of this pen is it comes with different color chalk. So now I'm on a dark fabric and I think I'll save the darks. This may be the darkest one. Yeah, this is the darkest one. But I should be able to pull out this pink. And put in the white. And then I will see, and there's even a pencil color. So let's see how the white does. Okay, I seem to have lost. Wow. <laughs> uh, there's my white right there. Okay, let's try this again. And I didn't buy the right size. I should read.
My quilt is complete and I love it. It is not perfect, but you know, none of my quilts are. But I did really well on the points. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I held my own when it came to matching the seams and the points and that. I will give you a, a full view when I end this video. This pattern is called Lazy Goose. I will put a link in the description below and it is by Running D Quilts. It comes together pretty quick. It's big blocks and it's just it has a really big finish I guess is what you could say. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned how to do something new, how to create some half square triangles in a new way. And I hope that you try this particular quilt because you're going to love it. I will be adding a border. I haven't decided what border yet, but I think I'm going to be adding a border. Have a great day. Eat some chocolate and be kind to everyone. Until next time. Bye. Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room. I knew you were gonna walk in here when I was doing this. More. Those are healthy. They're not healthy, but they're not awful. Okay. They're not healthy and they're not awful? They're in between. They're just right. And they're sugary or salty? Salty. Okay, I like salty. Do you? And I, and I like, it's crumble or cheesy. Oops. <sighs> Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in. I can't do it right. So, <laughs>